So far we have seen the basic translation, but now we will see that often a relationship set does not need a separate table. So often we can eliminate the tables for relationship sets. And this has two possible reasons. For one, we might want to do this for efficiency, that we avoid unnecessary join operations. Um, the other reason is that when we eliminate tables, we get more possibilities to express cardinality constraints by the design. If we have a relationship set that is many to one, then we do not need an extra table for this relationship set. We can encode this relation by adding an extra attribute to the many side of the relation. In this case, the account entity set. This extra attribute will hold a foreign key referencing the one side of the relation. So let's have a look at the translation in this example. We extend the translation of the count table with an extra attribute ID that references the one side of the relation. So ID is a foreign key referencing the customer table. Every row in the account table represents one account. If we want that every account is linked to precisely one customer, then we have to declare this column as not null. So we make this column not nullable. This translation in principle also works the same way if we have a many to zero or one relationship set. If we want to include the possibility that an entity of the many side is linked to zero entities, then we do not declare this column as not null. Then we allow null, and if we fill null, then this entity is not linked to any entity on the other side. Again, if the participation is partial, so if you have a many to zero or one relationship set, then in this extra column that we add, we get, will get null values for those entities that do not participate in the relationship set. If the participation is total, so if this is a many to one relationship set, then we should declare this foreign key as not null. If we have a one-to-one -one relationship set, then we can extend either side with a foreign key of the other side. And if we have an identifying relationship for a weak entity set, then this identifying relationship can always be eliminated. And we actually do not need to do anything because the table for the weak entity set already includes the primary key of the identifying entity set and the discriminator of the weak entity set. So the table for the weak entity set already contains the entire information that this identifying relationship set would contain. So for an example, you can look a few slides back at this loan and payment table, then this payment table already contains the primary key of the loan, the loan number, and it contains the discriminator of the payment, the payment number. So this is the full information that would appear in the translation of the loan payment relationship set. So let's consider an example. Here we have a branch of some company with a name of a branch and the city where the branch is located. And we have an entity set account with a number and the balance. Every branch can have an arbitrary number of accounts and every account belongs to precisely one branch. So the basic translation creates three tables. We have a table for branch with the attributes of the branch, name and city. We have a table for the entity set account with the attributes of the account, the number and the balance. And we have a table for the relationship set account of. And this table contains foreign keys 
to the participating entity sets. So we have a foreign key number referencing the account entity set, and we have a foreign key name referencing the table for the branch entity set. Now, what happens if we use the more optimized translation? So what table could we eliminate here? We have a many to one relationship set, so we can eliminate the table for this relationship set. And how have we done this? We extend the table for the many side, the account, with a primary key of the one side. So we eliminate the table account off and we add an additional column to the account table. And this additional column has a foreign key name, which references the branch that this account belongs to. And since every account belongs to precisely one branch, we should declare this column as not null. 